right? So when a function is created, it binds the current environment, right? That's not the same thing as when we say a name is bound to the function on function creation. Like that, that typically happens, right? When you create a function, um, you, uh, I, I didn't finish the sentence here, but um, when, when you create a function, you almost always use a name, at, at, at least I have, right? So a name is bound to the function when you create it and a function binds an environment, but it's not necessarily, the function doesn't necessarily bind the environment that the name is in. Um, it, it, it's, it's probably the most common case, but we have a couple of different examples in the book. So in the left side here, we have a function f, which is created, is bound to a name f, and it binds the same environment it was created in, specifically. The other example is that um, the function, um, the function is bound, is bound, there's a name g bound to the function, but the function environment, the function binds the global environment. Right, sorry. And this is the code from the book. Right, so we create an environment E. And then within E, we create a function G. By default, G's environment is the current environment, which will be the global environment. And then, um, and then we use the function env command to get the environment of G. And then, um, and then I use the identical command here to see if the to see if the function environment of G, which is in E, is in fact the parent of E. Um, so that made sense to me when I was reading it before. I hope it made sense when I was saying it. Right, so, um, right, so I can do identical, E and E, right, right, so, so G is in E, but the environment uh, well, so G is a name bound in E, but um, the environment, G's environment is not E, but in fact, it's the parent of E. All right. Yeah, so, and then I actually just preempted using, so the next thing is this, there's this fn underscore n function, what is the environment from the base R to get the environment of a function.